mind over matter, next batter be to cap. Put it on a platter, how much uncut? Raw shit we dealing with, murder track, what? Slang killing it, touched, you feeling it? In your bloodstream, deadly venomous elixir. Hammer like sledge, that be sister. All in the together now. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Butch from Southeast Cichlids. Time to do the new video for the German shipment that just came in this past Friday. And before uh, we get started, I, I just wanted to uh, give a thanks to everyone for all your support. Uh, you know, whether it be from buying fish or just watching videos and uh, just telling people about Southeast Cichlids. Uh, it's greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, I had my first talk this past Saturday um, at the Atlanta Aquarium Association's uh, club meeting. I think it went pretty well and I had a lot of people uh, reach out and give some support uh, leading up to that and, and I just want to let you all know it's very very appreciated. Uh, so now uh, we will get on to uh, looking at some fish. Bodie is uh, gonna hang out. Yep. Um, also, real quick, uh, I do have hoodies now. Um, everyone who ordered one, uh, they are in. I do have a few extra mostly in the blue I have one of these camos and a double X uh, I do plan to get more uh, I'm gonna put these up on the site and then when they're gone they're gone but I do plan to get uh, another run of these done um, I think I'm gonna get uh, next time uh, a gray with a darker green camo um, not sure yet uh, but if you have interest, uh, you can uh, get them on the site, and when they're all gone, if you want one, uh, email info at southeastcichlids.com. Let me know what color and size you want, and we'll make it happen. So, we will start over here with the Buca Chromus Rhodesii Yellow got a good amount of, of nice uh, males anywhere from five six and a half maybe a couple seven inches um, but all nice uh, showing a lot of yellow blue heads lots of egg spots one of my favorites uh, Aristochromus Christii a lot of nice males. These guys are all six inch plus and uh, showing a lot of good color. Exochromus and a genius. Uh, anywhere from five, six inch. Uh, thought I was going to get some females this time, but um, looks like I got all males again. And Dimitrochromus strigatus good size four and a half inch just not showing the color yet but it, it's there really really cool fish um, check them out on Google if you're not familiar with it really nice my co-op firefish uh, I got in I don't know maybe a little over a month ago are really doing well they're growing like crazy um, there are a couple little males like that one like an inch and a half and, and he's showing a lot a lot a lot of color down here uh, Placidochromus Gisele and Molochromus Lateristriga High Reef I've got some more in another tank with male uh, male showing a, a lot of good color it's a really cool fish um, and also in this tank are the uh, Tyanio Lethernops Priarbitalis. There are uh, several males. Um, 
uh, a couple that are <clears throat> probably pushing four and a half inch anyways. Um, uh, and then a few a little smaller. Um, there are a few females available also. Uh, this is a really neat fish. <clears throat> um, if you're not familiar with them, check them out. Um, I'm actually doing a, a biotope um, in one of my show tanks with the Pry Arbitalis and uh, a couple different Placidochromis um, doing a blue chaser tank. Uh, we'll talk about that some other time. Down here, uh, Holotania and more Bucachromis Rhodesii yellow, a little smaller, um, four, four and a half inch uh, males, uh, showing a lot of good color. These Holotania are really, really nice as well. Up here are some Bucachromis Nodotania. <clears throat> These guys are um, three and a half, probably four inch. Uh, nice little males. I don't have very many at all. Yeah, that's a nice one. Um, also in this tank are Mylochromis Torpedo Blue also known as Auto Pharynx Torpedo Blue really cool hat <clears throat> um, it's very rare to get these guys in uh, over the years I've got them a couple times wild caught uh, probably five to six inch and they were expensive like a hundred and twenty five a piece probably um, it's a, a very rare fish if you like uh, different shaped uh, hat for your tank uh, these guys are it um, look them up blue torpedo uh, I do have males and a couple of females up here are pro to Mellis both Zulu red <clears throat> got new ones in looking really really good males and females also with them are the auto pharynx black orange dorsal really really nice really nice fish uh, it's not often that I'm able to get them in at this size um, only got 10 four were pre-ordered so that means there are six left they will go fast they always do for good reason in my opinion anyways one of my favorites uh, in the auto pharynx And of course the Bald Zulu Red, also another really, really nice fish if you are wanting a red fish. We got some little Autopharynx Black Orange. <clears throat> These guys are two inch. Uh, there are for sure little males that you can see. Um, I mean... I can't f pick you out for sure females uh, I can do my best just based off size uh, you know like there's a male right there and then there's some little ones I would think those could be females uh, so if you want a group I can do my best to put it together for you these are Alana Cara Jacob Freeberg I Kate McClear nice little fish a uh, really nice Jake <clears throat> got a few uh, smaller sized iceberg and also <clears throat> some albino uh, firefish at about two inch uh, showing a lot of a lot of good color uh, the German German told me to try some out so I did um, and I think they look really, really good for their size. Uh, you can't really see it on the camera, but um, they got good color. OB Peacocks. Mostly kind of orangey, yellowy, uh, blotched peacocks. Definitely a few nice ones in there. Up here are bicolor, 
nice males, got females also. Lanakara Ethylene, a few Bodzulu, Photomel's Bodzulu from last time. A couple out of Pharynx Sulfur Head, some smaller Firefish. Boat is still holding it down over there. Mylochromis Laterostriga High Reef. Uh, these are the ones I told you about on the other side. Uh, another tank here with some nice males. Uh, I do have some females also. Really, really nice Mylochromis. Let's see. Eh, a little better. Got a shape like a M shoes. Uh, not a, quite as pointy of a face. Really, really nice. I uh, love their shape. Uh, so that's that's those guys. Down here, um, Placidochromus Giselle and the Copidochromis uh, Free Water M. Loto. Really, really nice Copidochromis. The body shape reminds me a lot of the Firecrest. Of course, it doesn't have the red in the dorsal. It just the shape of it, the mouth, um, reminds me of the Firecrest. Uh, really, really nice. I've never had these before. Um, they blew me away right when they came in, and they are still really just one of my favorites uh, in the shop right now. These are selling fast. Uh, still have, you know, plenty of males, but they are going fast. Females um, have already been scooped up. Uh, to my knowledge, I'm not sure if this fish is in the United States. Um, so I'm really excited uh, for one of the guys to pick pick this group up and work with them here. Vanakara, Steve and I, Hongi, nice little peacock, um, always been one of my favorites, I just love the, the yellow and the blue uh, and, the, and the dark blue in the, in the dorsal, really nice, I uh, got females, this would be a nice one to breed, um, not that it's rare, uh, it's just a really, really nice, nice peacock. Lethernops and Bossy. Oh, I can't even remember what all's in there. Uh, a couple Kate McClear. And a couple of those electric reds that I told you about last time. Uh, Lana Car Red Flash. I uh, got nice males and females for these. Always very popular. Ruby Red, Rotor Kaiser. Uh, these guys aren't doing a whole lot today. They look orange, real orange, but they're not really that orange. Um, they have a, a deeper, richer tone to them. Um, it's just not a whole lot of light in here right now. And it messes with, with the phone, I think, with oranges and reds. But uh, anyways, they're really nice, just like always. Down here, I've got some uh, Placidochromis White Lips. Uh, I didn't get near as many as I thought. Only got 16. Um, a couple are spoken for. Uh, so if anybody wants a group, you know, let me know pretty quick. Also, uh, Lichnochromis Acuticeps. Uh, these guys, three and a half inch. Uh, there are um, a handful of for sure males, uh, as you can see there. Egg spots. But there's not many. And a couple are already spoken for. Wild caught Alana Cara Melandi. 
uh, Wild Caught, Alana Cara, Mdoka Flametail, uh, Tyranochromus Niger Ventor. Up here we have some Ruby Red, and some Benga. These are more Benga. Females. Nice. Really nice. Benga. These are the Auto Fairnix Big Spot. Really nice fish. Uh, when they fully color up, they're amazing. Still got a couple of uh, Placidochromus Johnsonite here. A few Champs of Chromis. Spilorhynchus, but pretty sure there are only females left. Alana uh, Cara, Jacob Fiberga, Eureka Red. Really good males. Got some females. Really nice. He's not even the biggest one in the tank, but he is uh, acting like the boss. Up here we have some albano jakes, <clears throat> albano firefish, uh, some blue orchid, little guys, definitely males. Placidochromus phenochilus tanzania, uh, males, females. Uh, males are right at the point where they're starting to show a fleck or two. Uh, these German, the German strain. Uh, just they, they get flex earlier than some of the domestic Phenichilus Tanzania you see here in the States. And that is because they are line bred, just like you would line breed a peacock or anything else. Uh, they take the best fleck males and, and work with them. Um, so these guys get flex at a much younger age uh, than a lot of the domestics that you'll see. So have some Labetochromus uh, hongi Sweden. Um, all males, uh, there might be a female. I didn't get any more this last time. He told me to wait uh, till next time. He was going to have some new ones. Uh, but if you're wanting uh, males for your Embuna tank, these guys are really nice. A couple fish that came out of my show tank at home. Uh, Mylochromus anaphorimus. That is a Placidochromus Jolly Reef. Uh, he's really nice. Uh, Copetochromus Kadango. Um, this guy didn't come out of my show tank. I've just had him up here because he's nice. Uh, it's one of the wild caught Mdoka Flametail. He's not really cooperating. Anyways, he doesn't want to cooperate. Awesome, special order Parasipochromus. Up here are four wild caught Champsochromus coralius. They're males, there are only four of them. So, whoever contacts me first, uh, that's the order they will go in. Also got in some Trometocranus Placodon. Uh, that big guy was special ordered. I have more up here. Three more up there. These are wild caught takes them a minute to get adjusted. That guy's looking good. Uh, these are really, really nice hats. Big hats. Can go with predators. A couple of nice protomelis. Spilonotus Tanzania. Two wild caught. 
Patch, Metachromis, I uh, forget. Uh, they'll be on the list. If you don't know what a Placodon looks like, that's a Placodon. More Exochromis and a Genius. Did get some wild caught Buchachromis Lepturus Green, uh, but I only got four, and they went very, very fast. I will try to get more for next time. Can't make any promises, but I'll try. Um, also have some wild caught Tremitochromis Intermedius. Uh, very, very, very nice fish. Uh, they're not doing much right now, color-wise. Uh, they just came in, uh, but they are healthy and eating and on the verge of coloring up. Uh, but if you are not familiar with the fish, look it up. Um, you will want one, and I don't have that. I think I have eight. Uh, they're good size, probably five inch. Um, a lot of color coming in. Uh, in the fins, very red, orange. They're close. Uh, they're close to putting the color on. I was hoping they would turn it on uh, before I did the video, but uh, no luck. But look them up. Over here we have Copetochromis Kadango Redfin. We've got males and females. Also the Placidochromis Gold and Bamba Bay. No females. But I have 20 males, and they are really, really good. Really nice. Um, look at that guy. Super nice. He's the dominant, one of the dominant ones in here. This guy is probably the most dominant. Um, just like everything else, you take out the most dominant. The next one will color up. Um, there are 20 of them. So, again, first come, first served on these guys. I'm still, still trying to get females. Um, hopefully, in the future, uh, I will be able to get them. Uh, the breeder has been coming off more and more males um, every shipment. Very first time I got these, I only got two males, um, and it's gone up every time. Uh, last time 15, this time 20. Really happy with them. Just really, really nice. Real nice. I may have to sneak one of these into my tank. Couple special ordered wild caught uh, Tyrannochromus maculoseps, uh, Buchachromus heterotania. Got some uh, nice Venustus and Living Stone Eye in this tank. They're always ready to eat. Oh, there's also Dimetochromus kawingi in here. I've got a male and three or four females. If someone wants a, a nice group of Kawingi, there's the male. All right, I believe we went over everything today. If there are any developments as far as some fish, that weren't showing color today, that are showing color later on. I'll do a little follow up. Those Copetochromis, uh, I'm, they're nice. That's all, that's all I can tell you. I know some people were like, oh, you were so excited about this the other night. Yeah, I am excited about them. So I'll show them one more time. So again, thanks uh, thanks for all your support. Check us out, southeastcichlids.com. New price list will be up. Don't forget, check out Northfin USA to get your Northfin fish food, Seachem products, Kimmy Pure products. 
think Bode's about ready to go. Don't forget, if you want a hoodie, let us know. I'm going to put them on the site. Then you can also hit Mindy at info at southeastcichlids.com. North Fan USA. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you later.